this hurt? Good morning, everyone. It's actually been three months since I got my skin treatment done in Korea and I'm finally sitting down and talking to you guys about my experience, my thoughts, if I've seen any long-term results in my skin. Yeah, I'm gonna be going over that, showing you guys vlog footage from my treatments and getting into like the nitty gritty of getting like a skin treatment done in Korea. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I actually received treatments from Muse Clinic and they reached out to me and wanted to know if I wanted to receive any skin treatments in exchange for a video review. So I did a little research on their clinic and was like, okay, sounds good to me. Now before my appointment, we did kind of discuss over email what I was kind of looking for with my skin, discussing goals, and she did mention some treatments that they might suggest, but I wanted to have a consultation when I got to the office so that we could do like an in-person assessment on my skin. Now one of the first things I noticed in general was how clean the facility was and how well taken care of everything was. So that's always appreciated whenever it comes to any type of clinic, especially like a skin clinic. My appointment was October 14th at 2 p.m. and I arrived I think like 15 minutes early. Unfortunately, I did end up sitting in the waiting room for quite a bit of time. I didn't end up seeing the girl that did my consultation until 2.40, so they were running behind. I did notice there were a lot of people going in and out of their facility. And to be completely honest, I didn't have really anything else planned for the day. Have a little leeway in your schedule in case something like this happens. When I actually got into the consultation room, she was very apologetic for running so late and she did actually give me some skincare products here. She gave me a spot repair cream, a sunscreen, the Propulus Ampule, the deep moist cream. Oh, and some sheet masks. <laughs> I don't think this was standard. I think these are like their in-house products that they wanted to give to me because they were running behind and because I was doing this video, but I just thought I'd throw that in there to, like I said, be totally transparent. Now in the consultation itself, she was very thorough in explaining everything. She answered all my questions. And one thing that I really liked is that she showed me the different treatments and in each of the treatments on an iPad, she was able to break down like the steps, what they all entailed so you knew what to expect. Sometimes I've gone to skin treatments in Korea where they just kind of like do stuff to your face and I'm kind of like laying there with my eyes closed like, I don't know what they're doing and I hope it's okay, but I can't be for sure. So it was nice to know that I could see like all the steps broken down. They even had a video of the different treatments so you could see it beforehand. So you basically knew what you were signing up for. And they were also very transparent in their pricing, which again was another thing I really liked because I've been to facilities where they don't even tell you how much every little thing is. And then when you get the bill at the end, you're just kind of like, huh? What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. So everything was very clear, written out. I mean, it would be really hard to misunderstand anything. Before going in, I actually didn't know how the laser was going to necessarily work. But I didn't actually know if I had to get my whole face lasered or if I was able to just get that one spot. Because to be honest, if I was gonna have to get my whole face lasered, I probably would have said no because I'm pretty happy with the rest of my face. I, I, I feel like with lasers, I'd rather not have to use them until later on in life, just save them for later if possible and rely mainly on preventative care and my skincare. So if I could just get the one trouble spot treated, I was golden, which was the case. And what was also cool is they have like different size <laughs> pricing. So you figure about $10, $25 and $40. I didn't think that was that bad at all, especially considering here in the States, these type of treatments would be so much more expensive. <laughs> She also recommended the LDM basic care treatment, which I will have video of that, of course, and show you guys all of the steps that were entailed with that. And then on top of that, I woke up that morning with like a giant under the skin pimple. So I kind of figured, well, I might as well just bring it up. And she looked at it and was like, yep, no problem. We'll do a little injection in that. Knock that baby out of the park. So I had basically three different things I had done to my skin. So after my consultation, I was taken upstairs to wash my face and remove any makeup. I did come in with pretty minimal makeup, but I think I had like sunscreen and stuff on my skin at the time. So they have little stations there. Everything was very clean. And the nice thing is that they provide everything for you. So if you don't want to bring in your like cleanser and toner and all that kind of stuff, they had that provided at the little water station. So I just quickly washed my face put all my personal items in the lockers that again, they provide. So the first treatment I had done was the Pico laser. And <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, 
<laughs> I make it look a lot more painful than it really is. I went in there a little nervous because this is the first time I'd ever had any type of laser done. Yeah, I just thought it's fine. Mm. Does this hurt? Oh, not very much. How long does it take? Is it just quick? Mm. Okay. I'm nervous. This is my first time. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Don't, don't be nervous. Okay. Maybe I think it need um, four or five shots. One shot, one second. Okay. <laughs> don't move. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't be surprised. Start. Oh, it's okay? Yeah. Bonk. <laughs> Dramatic? Who? Me? Never. <laughs> yeah, this is one shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One more. Okay. <laughs> Little baby oh. ones. <laughs> Finish. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. How was it? Um, it wasn't bad, it just is like shocking. <laughs> Not bad, so it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. You can actually see in the video that I'm flinching as the laser goes off. It's not necessarily because it's painful. I think the whole rubber band snapping against your skin is a really good metaphor as to how it feels because you do get that like targeted zap. But I think it was more because this spot is somewhat near my eye that it's just like a foreign place to feel like a zap. Also, not gonna lie, I was probably very tense. <laughs> It's not that bad. I can't speak to if you do your whole face because I'm sure that's a very different story. But I did see women walking around with what looked to me like numbing cream. So I'm assuming if you get something like that done, you could get like the numbing cream applied to your face. But like I said, I, I had that little spot so they were probably like, she can handle. I was a trooper, needless to say. <laughs> So after I had my little laser treatment done, which only took a couple minutes, I was escorted to a table. And the way that the clinic is set up is it's basically like cubicles and you go into your little cubicle with the table and you have the esthetician that works on your skin. So it's somewhat private, but also you're not in a private room. So not really, like you can still kind of hear what's going on around you. Now I'm just gonna show you guys the LDM basic care treatment. I think it's pretty self-explanatory what's going on and if you want, you can go on their website and get more details about the treatment itself. The LDN basic treatment was pretty straightforward. I videoed all of the different steps that were included in the treatment. And I'd say overall, it probably took maybe 30 to 45 minutes. So within an hour, I had basically the little treatment done to my spot and my facial treatment done. So everything was pretty quick and efficient there. first time getting any type of injection done on pimples for the most part when I have pimples I just kind of let them ride their lifetime out so the doctor basically rolls in and I showed her where the pimple was on my chin and she basically just went ahead and injected the pimple obviously like big pimples like that are painful like even touching the surface of them so adding that on top of the injection it was you know it's an injection it's not painless. You know, think about getting a flu shot. Kind of like that, but in a pimple. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> Last 
last but not least, let's go ahead and talk about the results of everything. So to start off with the spot on my skin and how I feel about it now, I've had three months since my treatment and I have to be honest, I think Pico Laser is going to be effective in a case where you're going to do it regularly. I think after one treatment, you're not going to notice much of a difference and obviously I did document the healing process over time. It's definitely still there and I would definitely get it treated again. But I think if I were to even attempt to do something like this, I would keep up with it regularly. I think that's just the most effective way to do lasers and treatments like this in general. So if I ever plan to go back to Korea, I would definitely like do treatment at the beginning of my trip and then try to do treatment towards the end of my trip to kind of, you know, get more treatments done on that one spot. Now, as far as the pimple on my chin, it was kind of a weird healing process. And I'll be completely honest, I think my case was a little unique. So as you could see, the actual giant pimple part of it did go down substantially and immediately, pretty much the next day, the skin was pretty much flat. But I did notice I had like a tiny little pimple that was still there. Now I don't know if that was part of the pre-existing giant pimple, if that was like an independent one that was slightly off from it, or what it was, it could have been one or the other. So that was kind of annoying because I didn't want to like treat it or, you know, extract it or anything like that because I was a little concerned if it was part of the original pimple. I didn't want it to scar. So I just left it alone. And finally it came to a head two months later <laughs> where I could finally like put a little pimple patch on it and have that kind of pull out the pus. This is kind of a judge for yourself type of video. I'm just sharing with you guys my honest experience with the old treatment. If I were to go back to Korea, I would definitely go back to Muse Clinic and get some treatments done because they were very clear and concise with their treatments. They were efficient. I was pretty happy with the pricing. The facility was super clean. All of the people there were super helpful. And if I had any questions, I felt like they were able to answer them. And I did really enjoy the treatments that I got. My skin from the actual facial itself did feel really nice for the following week or two after. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video in case you're looking into getting any type of skin treatments done in Korea or you want to check out a clinic. I'll put all their information down in the description box below in case you want to reach out and set up an appointment for yourself. But as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!